Temporal Forces is the new Scarlet and Violet set soon to be released. First main set of 2024, it features more of the new Paradox form Pokemon, as well as bringing back the powerful Ace Spec trainer cards. I've got an early look at the set today with these three battle kits. Let's waste no further time and get cracked straight in. Boom! Here we go, three build and battle kits. Thank you again, Miki Poker World, for sending these over to me like they do with every new set, every new main set that comes out. We're not gonna waste any time today, guys. We're gonna get cracked straight into it. The first set of 2024 for Scarlet and Violet. Uh, it's been a little while since we've had a main set. The last one was November last year, Paradox Rift. Um, so this one is combining the two latest Japanese sets, Wild Force and Cyber Judge, which you've seen me open here on the channel. Um, obviously, build and battle kits. You know what this is, right? It's a, uh, it's what you get at a pre-release. So here's what you get. That's what we got. Oh, my ride on uh, for our first build and battle kit promo right there. Very cool. Um, I'm not actually sure which of the four of the promos is the most powerful. I, I don't, I'm not getting to go to a pre-release this year. This is my only uh, early look at the set. Uh, here's our four. Wait, how many pack artworks are in this set? Is there only four? Did Gouging Fire miss out? An Iron Boulder. We've got Iron Leaves, Walking Wake, Iron Crown, Raging Bolt right there. Let's take a look at this deck. Um, obviously, yeah, pre-release kit, you're getting the pre-made deck here, which you would use at the pre-release to battle, and you're getting your four booster packs, which you would open, and then you can add cards from those packs into this deck to try and make it a little bit stronger, depending on what you get. Sleeve up our promo. We need that for the promo binder 92. Here's our trainer tip sheet. Always little cool things to collect. I don't think I've ever collected all of them though. So this little thing gives you a tip of how to use the deck. Uh, Iron Thorns, uh, this is a rare, this would be, so this would be a, um, all rares in this set are hollows. So this is a non holo variant, you know, straight away right there. Iron Thorn, boom, Iron Thorns. Brody, you got your robot, you got your robot Tyranitar. Uh, Marad on there, he'll be a non holo variant as well. I thought that was in Paradox Rift. Well, that's new, that's new. That's from Paradox. I'm just trying to see what new stuff is in here. Matang, Cypher, Maniacs, Code Breaking, that's new. Buddy Buddy Poffin, apparently this is very playable. In Japanese, this was worth just as much as like the, the secret rares and stuff. Search your deck for up to two basic Pokemon with 70 HP or less and put them onto your bench and shuffle your deck. Yeah, right, so you're getting two basic Pokemon straight out. Don't put that in your bolt, guys. It's gonna be worth a bit in uh, in English as well. Guarantee you that. Another one of them. Lots of Iron, th uh, iron Thorns in here. These are all previous sets. Another one of them. Morty's Conviction, that has a really cool SIR with Gengar in it. Uh, build them another Iron Thorns. And there you go, you guys can have that code card, right? I'm gonna sleeve up my uh, non holo variants here because they are, well, I need one of them for the master set. Which yes, I am doing another master set for this set. I'm gonna keep going for now, guys. Um, I can't, I can't stop right now. <laughs> And then I'll sell the rest. They usually sell for four to five bucks. So yeah, don't, if you're opening pre-release kits, don't uh, don't chuckle this stuff in with your bulk. I'm gonna sleeve up this little thing here too. Boom, first pre-release kit, let's go. Let's see what we got. First pack of Temporal Forces. I'll give you that one. Get rid of that one. All right, let's go. Let's go. Finizen, Dunsparce, so we got a Snom. Got that awesome Pikachu artwork. We did see that in um, the Japanese sets recently. Future Booster, Great Tusk. Apparently there's two of these. This is not the useful one. It's the other one. It's the other one. Delkity, Giraffe Rig, Mr. Mime. We've got a Frigoraph EX, terrestrialized form right there. Uh, a psychic Pokemon turning himself dark type. I mean, totally honest guys, I wasn't like super, super hyped about this set and I'm not really sure why. Maybe, I don't know, maybe I'm just fatigued out on Paldean Fates. <laughs> I don't know. But uh, maybe um, as I'm sitting here opening some today, I'll um, I'll get a little bit of that hype, that hype coming back into me. I would like to see an A-Spec card in English to compare. Totodile, Go Lurk, Mel Metal Hollow. I would love to see a Gengar card, either the Full Art or the Morty's Conviction. That would be an uh, ideal scenario. Um, Raging Bolt's got a cool SIR. I think all of them kind of do Waking, Walking Wake, Gouging Fire, the three robot deer things. 
the Tang. There we go, we've got another EX. This time it is Scovillain. Chili Pepper Thing is getting a EX card. <laughs> Alright, last pack of our first. Our first uh Golden Battle Kit. We got three. We got three to get through. Licky Licky. Matang. He's got a pre-release promo, I'm pretty sure. So he must be useful. Carcol. Grottle. Beam. Rapidash. Boltund. Dadunspas. Delmice. Flutter Main. Now, this was worth a lot in uh, Japanese, so it must be sort of playable. As long as this Pokemon is in the active spot, your opponent's active Pokemon has no abilities except for Midnight Fluttering. Okay, I'm guessing that's why it's useful. Alright, two EXs in that first one. Nothing crazy. Let's um let's just hope we get a different a different promo. That's all I can hope. What do we got? What do we got? We got Hey, we got for alligator. It's a cool artwork. For alligator. It's, uh, number 89 right there. Oh yeah, obviously this thing comes in here in the battle kit as well. Gives you a bit of an idea. It's got the entire set list. Okay, so it looks like there's seven Ace Spec cards in the set. Master Ball wasn't in Wild Force or Cyber Judge, so is that from an upcoming set? I'm pretty sure it wasn't in those sets. So I'm guessing the set's not overly big. 18 Art Rares, Illustration Rares, 10 SIRs, 6 Gold. Not an overly huge set, sometimes that's what you need. <laughs> sometimes, maybe that's a good thing for this set. For Alligator, there we go, we've got... Raging Bolt on that thing. So this is the Feraligator Maride on deck from the look of it. Relicanth, that's a non-holo exclusive. Another Iron Thorn. Totodile, Feraligator, that'd be one as well. That would be one as well. Wow, we're getting a lot of non-holo exclusives in here. Buddy Buddy Poffin, it's already like shuffled. Another one, my goodness. Another one. So many Iron Thorns, what the heck? Two of the uh... Pre-release promise so far. That's that's cool. That's cool. Look how many non-holo exclusive we've gotten just from two build and battle kits. I don't think I've ever seen that happen before. <laughs> Let's go number two here. We're looking for something a little bit spicy. That's what we want to see. Something, a little something, something to get us excited for this set. Heatmore, Rolly Coley, Azumarill, Yampa, Roserade, Exadrill. Keldeo, Foratrus, Le That's the good one. Coridon. It, it mills the deck. It mills it. It's the first time I've heard that term. Um, that it's a, it's a term they use. In the game. Hand Trimmer. Rabska. Iron Jugulus is back. There's the Wiglet. <laughs> ah, that Wiglet. Licky Tongue. And Whimsicott. Halfway through the opening. Let's go. Come on, Grubbin. Medicham. Tranquil. Mr. Mime. Delmice. Electivire. Zincino. It's nice kind of checking out some of these new artworks. Some cool stuff. There's always some cool artworks in um, Skull and Violet sets. I will give it that. Apparently this is kind of playable too. Iron Valiant. Carcoal. Iron Thorns. There you go. There's the standard holographic version, of which we now have about ten non-holo versions. <laughs> Come on, give us something. Give us something here. Thought I saw something, but it could have just been a hollow stitching me up. Mel Metal. Yeah, is the Wiglet. Mel Tan. Sorry. Full Metal Lab. Golurk. Shaman. Dealing. Zerorora. Yeah, I was getting stitched up. I was getting stitched up. Alright, nothing in that one. Just four hollows. A little brutal. That's why we got one more. If you enjoy this content, guys, hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. What else is there to say? <laughs> Plenty more content where this came from. Hey, we got Matang. There we go. And, um, yep, same artworks. I do live streams too, guys. You want to check it out? I do shorts content. And check that out. Oh, that's pretty lazy. Shorts content. <laughs> I do lots of giveaways in the live streams. Started doing live breaks, which have been a lot of fun. Just did my third. Oh, the time you see this video. Matang. And we got... Hey, we got three of these. That's cool. With the Iron Crown one there. What we got in here? Eh, yeah, Coridon. Another non-holy variant. 
Lot of main, another one. How many are there? My goodness. Great tusk. Megros. That's one. That's one. That's one. Another Coridon. Tang, another Coridon. Metagross. Another Flutter Mains. So we're getting some different ones in here to the other two. It's like a totally different deck, which is kind of cool. There you go. Coridon Metagross deck. Even though Matang was the uh, the promo. Pre release promo. Number 90. At least we got three out of the four. Can't complain about that. Usually I double up or triple up the same ones. So the other one is Coridon. That's the other, that's the fourth pre-release promo. Best result in terms of the promos right there. That is a stack of non-holo variants right there. <laughs> Come on Matang, what you got for me? What you got? It's gotta be something, surely, surely. I ain't hold my breath. Elgeem, Tomokazu, let's go. To the side you go, buddy. Maril. Gullet, Sandy Shocks, Runiculus, Mist Energy, that's a new energy, Bronzong, <gasps> Cutie Fly, For Alligator, there's the standard holo. Could we potentially see nothing more than an EX today? It is very possible. Don't worry guys, I will be opening more of the set on the channel soon when it officially releases in about a week's time. Maybe less by the time that this video comes out. Rescue Board, Sandy Shocks. Relor. There we go. We got something. Something pretty. Something pretty to look at. Saws Buck in the illustration rare. We will take that. Another Whimsicott Cot right there. Beautiful. The dealing illustration rare lines up with this and they create one big artwork, which is a cool new thing that Pokemon's been doing lately with the illustration rares and I dig it. Something pretty to look at. Two packs left. Two packs left. <laughs> I'm gonna have to do that every time now, aren't I? Thanks a lot, Watto. It's ingrained in me now. Mudbray, Mencino, Sawsbuck, Scythomaniac, <laughs> Fortress, Lycanroc, Dramper again. Last pack. Come on. Can we get anything? Temporal Forces coming out. What is the date? What is what I don't even know the release date. <laughs> Temporal Forces, March 22nd release date. There you go, guys. Alright. Last pack. Um, it's coming out very soon. Get onto it. There we go, Tomokazu again. Hand trimmer. Come on, last pack magic. Let's go. Let's get something. There's the Wiglet again. We doubled up on the Wiglet. Charge bug. Can we get a full art? Raging Bolt EX. I will take it. Because it's not a whole lot. Not the worst. <laughs> if you've enjoyed the video, guys, click one of these other ones that is popping up on your screen right about now. Have a great day. Good luck with all your own pulls, and I'll catch you all in the very next video. See ya, bye.